Okay, so today I just wanted to make a quick video on um, the difference between bonded clamps and unbonded clamps and basically uh, a rubber cushion clamp versus a non-cushion clamp. So what you're looking at here, these are the things that hold rigid lines in place. So rigid lines need to be supported uh, to the structure so that way they don't chafe or move around too much. Um, and these are called 8L clamps is what a lot of people will call them. And on the left side, you're seeing a, what, what do you call a cushion clamp or an unbonded clamp. So on a rubber cushion clamp, the purpose for those is in high vibration areas or areas that um, uh, where the line might uh, tend to move around. Uh, also, um, it's, it's an unbonded clamp. So it's gonna be used on lines that don't have a flammable uh, substance running through them or, or don't need to be bonded. On the right side, you're looking at what, if you notice that it doesn't have the, um, the rubber cushion in it. And, and the reason why is because these are called bonded clamps. So a lot of times these will be used to bond the the fluid line to the structure so you can't have the possible or possibility of a static discharge. So um, one thing about a bonded clamp, in order for it to, it to make a good electrical bond to the uh, fluid line, a lot of times the fluid line has to have the, uh, the anodizing rem removed from the fluid line. So uh, on an aluminum fluid line, they have to be protected against corrosion because they're not painted or they're not primed um, or they're not alodyned or anything like that. So most of these uh, fluid lines come from the factory with an anodizing coating on it. That's the corrosion protection. Problem with the anodizing is it doesn't provide a good electrical bond. So when you do use a bonded clamp, a lot of times you have to remove the anodizing in the area where the bonded clamp is going to be connected. And then now that fluid line will be bonded to the structure so there won't be a possibility for static discharge. So the reason I wanted to cover these two real quick because there was a couple questions on the FA test guide. You'll see some questions on, on the test. So I wanted to cover the difference between a rubber cushion clamp and a uh, bonded clamp on the right side there. Uh, so that way you, you'll be able to answer those test questions successfully. Thank you for watching this short video.